Welcome to Africa Info Hub. In this video we are going to talk about 10 interesting facts you did not know about Mozambique. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for future updates. Mozambique, formerly known as the Republic of Mozambique, is a country in southeastern Africa surrounded on the east by the Indian Ocean, on the north by Tanzania, on the northwest by Malawi and Zambia, on the west by Zimbabwe. East of the country, the Mozambique Channel separates it from the Comoros, Mayotte, and Madagascar, which are all independent states. In Mozambique, Maputo known as Lorenzo Marques from 1876 to 1976 serves as the country's capital and largest city. Bantu-speaking peoples arrived at present-day Mozambique from areas further north and west between the 1st and 5th centuries AD. Northern Mozambique is in the Indian Ocean, where the monsoon trade winds blow throughout the rainy season. An extensive network of Swahili port cities grew up in the area between the 7th and 11th centuries, contributing to the formation of a distinct Swahili culture and language. Traders from Somalia, Ethiopia, Egypt, Arabia, Persia, and India came to these places in the late medieval period to trade with the local population. Here are the 10 interesting facts you did not know about Mozambique. Number 10. Population. Mozambique has a population of 31.3 million people. The country's population is expected to grow to 33.3 million by 2025 and to a mind-boggling 50 million by 2050, according to current projections. Current population of approximately 31 million people in the country merely verifies that the predicted amount may be met, if not even exceeded soon. Most of the population, 96%, is made up of black Africans, with the remaining 4% made up of Portuguese, Asians, and people of mixed ethnicity. Number 9. Education in Mozambique. The government's ability to improve school quality has not kept pace with its ability to increase school access. The rapid development has put a lot of strain on school administration, teaching staff, and the overall quantity and quality of effective classroom education, resulting in a lot of overcrowded multi-shift schools, rising student-teacher ratios, and falling reading and math test scores. While 94% of Mozambican girls participate in elementary school, more than half drop out by the fifth grade, only 11% continue to secondary school, and barely 1% go on to college. Nearly two-thirds of students who complete primary school leave with no basic reading, writing, or math skills. To improve early grade reading outcomes, USAID's policy asks for close partnership with schools, teachers, administrators, parents, and communities. Training teachers and school leaders, upgrading learning materials, supporting the use of reading diagnostic tools, and encouraging increased parental and community involvement in education are all part of this effort. Number 8. It has one of the world's largest coastal marine reserves. The coastal marine reserve in the Primaiares and Segundas, a ten-island archipelago, is the largest in Africa and one of the largest in the world, covering 4,020 square miles. Coral reefs, mangroves, deep underwater canyons, vast seagrass meadows, and marine life abound in this area. A great fact about Mozambique is that their coastal waters are home to over 1,200 kinds of fish and marine turtles. In November 2012, this archipelago was designated as a marine protected area. Number 7. Initiation rituals were performed with Macand masks from Mozambique. In northern Mozambique's bordering region, the Macand ethnic group is a minority ethnic group. During the initiation rites of boys and girls into adult life, they used wooden carved masks called Mapiko, where they were given knowledge and taught skills important for the Macand way of life. During the conclusion of the initiation procedures, the ancestor spirits were thought to momentarily return to Earth as the males wearing the masks danced to the rhythm of the drums. Number 6. Mozambique's island is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The island of Mozambique, one of the country's many islands, is in the Nampula region of northern Mozambique. Stone Town, on the island's northern tip, served as the country's capital from 1507 to 1898, when it was still a Portuguese colony. The chapel of Nossa Senhora de Baluarte and the Fort S. Sebastio, both erected in the 16th century, are still standing. The entire island of Mozambique was recognized a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1991, which is a nice fact about the country. Number 5. Mozambique's flag is the only one with a firearm on it. 
Only the flag of Mozambique has a modern firearm on it, the AK-47, which denotes alertness and defense, which is an interesting Mozambique fact. It is emblematic of the Russian firearms usage in the battle for independence from Portugal. The flag is based on the colors and insignia of the Mozambican Liberation Front, the political party that led the opposition to colonial authority and is now in power. A proposal for the removal of the firearm was made, and a competition was held in 2005. The ruling party, however, rejected all suggested flags, even the one without the AK-47. Number 4. Polygamy was generally accepted but not legalized in Mozambique. Polygamy is a common and pervasive practice in Mozambique, with roughly one-third of married women participating in polygamous relationships, with only the first wife recognized by law. There are no legal limits or prohibitions on polygamy. Their culture is firmly steeped in this tradition. It is thought that having many wives gives a man prestige, while having many wives provides a guy with farm workers. Laws were passed to offer men and women in marriage equal rights, as well as to grant all spouses equal inheritance rights. The truth, however, is thought to be considerably different. When the husband dies, the wives are often forced out by the in-laws, and if the first wife has no son, she may face the same fate. Number 3. Mozambique's 10-Year Battle for Independence The Mozambican Liberation Front, or Frelimo, was a well-organized rebel force that sought to free their country from Portuguese rule. Its initial strike, in 1964, was aimed at destabilizing the colonial authorities. The Portuguese armed forces waged a ruthless counter-guerrilla campaign in which they detained and forced citizens in exchange for information about the Mozambican Liberation Front. Hundreds of thousands of civilians were relocated to fortified relocation camps, primarily to prevent the Mozambican Liberation Front's access to them, any who resisted were punished. The Portuguese army may have had the upper hand in the fight, but the Mozambican Liberation Front prevailed thanks to the backing and munitions sent by other nations such as the Soviet Union. It also helped that there were enormous political changes in Portugal, culminating in a military coup in 1974. On June 25, 1975, the people of Mozambique earned their freedom. Number 2. Rainfall. Even though Mozambique receives an average rainfall of approximately 55 inches per year, the country imports most of its food. In 2020, food imports accounted for 15% of total imports. Coconuts, corn, millet, cassava, and peanuts are just a few of the agricultural items grown in Mozambique. In order to make up for the food shortage, the country import other commodities such as wheat. Number 1. Transportation. In Mozambique, majority of the population relies on public transport such as buses, minibuses, and taxis. These are the most frequent modes of public transportation in metropolitan regions. Minibuses and pickup trucks, as well as bicycles and boat taxis, are common modes of transportation in rural areas. Despite the government's significant investments in road rehabilitation, some of the roads are not in good condition. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.